the first time that I nailed a half four shot. It was heartwarming just knowing that the guys like reacted um, like that, and I get to you know rewatch it every now and then. And everybody loves it still to this day. It's a great story. It's real, and uh, it, this kid is 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 special. Jack was born in New York City when I was working in New York, and we had the opportunity to move here to Toronto. You know, for Jack, once we started realizing that there were things that weren't happening maybe when they should, we weren't seeing certain developmental things being met. We started kind of searching, testing, having him evaluated, assessed by different doctors. And I'll never forget one doctor that we went to thinking, you know, is he on the spectrum somewhere? Does he have a syndrome of some kind? And a doctor looked at us and he said, would you be okay when you left here today that I just tell you he's just Jack? And we said, absolutely. We don't need to label him if there isn't one that's appropriate. What we just need to do is address the needs that he has, and, and they were multifaceted. He definitely has a learning disability. It really kind of morphs into a, an intellectual disability. Um, he's got other things that he has to overcome too. He's got, you know, processing issues. He's got sensory integration issues. He's got lots of little things that don't really add up to one name. It's something that we don't discuss much with him, if ever. And it's just yeah, because we never really wanted to limit him. You know, we didn't yeah. we didn't want to place a certain limitation on him. We didn't want him to ever think he couldn't do something. So we didn't focus on him mm -hmm. having a disability. Jack always planned to attend a college or a university and have a typical university experience. He would talk about one day going off to, to college. And, and, and playing. He thought he was going to play. Well, sure. There, there were big <laughs> dreams. But, um, but we, uh, there was a time as we were trying to educate him in the system where we thought, I don't know if this is going to be possible for him. And right. then the REACH program reveals itself. The UI REACH program is a two-year certificate program for children with learning disabilities. REACH actually stands for Realizing Educational and Career Hopes. All of our students attend classes um, with a focus on functional academics. They can also take classes with traditional students. That's what UI Reach is all about, that full integration of those students, making sure they have the same college experience that you and I had when we were in college. We go there, obviously, during the interview process, which was nerve-wracking for Jack. And then, obviously, the day uh, in which he opened up the letter that he got accepted. Yes! It was in his Herky the Hawkeye onesie. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Jack and family, congratulations on Jack's selection for admission to the University of Iowa's REACH program for fall 2018. It means a lot to me knowing that I'm in this program and, and learning something new every day that I might not have known. Um, before. As parents, what you want is hope, right? A little bit of hope. Now, we don't know five years from now, ten years from now, but while he's there, it's just absolutely an amazing place. It's life-changing for him. I remember it was very emotional for me because, you know, that was going to be the last time I took the court at the BJC. Everyone started crying. 
I didn't start crying, but everyone else started crying, and I'm just like looking around. Cause like there's so many people, and I'm just like, wow. Please give a warm round of applause to Nifty Lions senior guard, number 12, Taylor Battle. I remember Boo Boo as a little kid, he probably thought, this is it, this is life. Boo in the front, Boo Boo. Boo in the front. He always had these aspirations of doing everything that Bubby did. And I just admired him, like, since I seen that. And I was just like, yeah, that's what I want to do. When he was going into high school, he moved from Pennsylvania up to New York with me and my older brother, Tracy. And it was just a, you know, get him around the boys. You know, let's make a run at this thing if he really wanted to be serious about basketball. Taylor was working me out a lot. and. That's when I started taking basketball very seriously. And I remember being so hard on him, like in the summers, being so hard on him when he was ninth, 10th grade. And then I took a step back and I was just like, you know what, when it wasn't about, you know, me pushing him or wanting it for him and him wanting for himself to be successful and get his Division I scholarship, that he just started working his tail off. I've always wanted to get to that point of everyone watching me. I want it to be my turn to shine now. Battle drives past Soldier off the window and gone. A great play by Battle. It's such a treat for me having played in this league and now watching my little brother play and have some success. Before the season even started, he's like, I want you to win every game except for the Penn State games. I want Penn State to win the game, you know, and I just hope he plays really well. It should be fun. There should be a decent amount of purple shirts in there, except I'm not wearing purple. I mean, you see what I'm wearing. As a redshirt sophomore, after the season ended, I knew I was going to graduate early in three years, and I had two years of eligibility left. I made the decision that I was going to leave. It's been about as good a new chapter here as you could really ask for here at Indiana. How about that? A ground buster. The first time Joey came on campus, I can remember his mother and his brother being with him, and then they brought him into the weight room, and I can remember him asking me if we could get a workout in. And that was his first day on campus, and uh, I could just tell he was eager and ready to go. I wanted to be the hardest worker here. I wanted to win over everybody in the program and be a positive energy, be a guy that, you know, leads with enthusiasm. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. All we got, all we got, fellas. You know, it's something that, that my dad and I talked about that I try to I try to do daily here. I've been blessed to train some of the best professional athletes in the world, but I've not had an athlete work as hard as Joey has worked in the weight room. And I think our team sees that. Slow up. Get up. There you go. Good. They see him in the gym getting extra shots up, or they see him in the weight room getting an extra lift in, and they have joined him. Better see outside. Into Joey Brunt down. Let's go. I think Joe would be extremely proud of Joey's accomplishments to this point. I do believe that he would still be able to tell him what he didn't do right in a game because he demanded perfection and he got it a lot of times. It'd be special to see him in a seat, no doubt about that, but I know he's here watching every game. I know he's on every road trip. He won't miss a game, and I'm positive of that.